Let's see if I can fix that. Um, nope, that's not working. Nope, that's not working. Nope, that's not working. How on earth am I going to fix that? Welcome, one and everyone, to this week's episode of Scotch and Smoke Rings. I am your neighborhood friendly Oxhorn here, as always, with my suspenders set to maximum stun. We've got a great show for you today. We've got new things, new uh, new sections of the show, and I need to find a way to fix this glitch. Why is it doing that, man? Nope. That's bizarre. Maybe it's too long. Let's try that. Is that what it is? Anyway. <laughs> Something's wrong here, but we'll figure it out. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for coming to this week's episode of Scotch and Smoke Rings. Episode 200 and... No! Episode 311, ladies and gentlemen. Greg Hartung says, is it me or does the light seem different? And everyone agrees that it's a bit brighter than usual. How's that? Cigar Rock says, only two more weeks until the big anniversary show. Indeed. Um, I'm going to have to come up with something interesting to do. <clears throat> Ninja of WoW is in the other chat and says, yeah, I had to, had to get some prep work done ready for my wedding. Congratulations on your upcoming wedding, good sir. Just so that everybody knows, we are now all in the Twitch TV chat. This is going to bug me. Why is this not fixed? Uh, I can't go up. Hey, Nathan Bernard. Thank you for following, good sir. I can't go down. Go right. Whoa, that makes it really bad. Maybe if I go left. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is just intolerable. I have to turn it off. Oh, that's why. Oh, I figured it out. Aha! Ah, ladies and gentlemen. Oh man, little things like that. It's little things like that. <clears throat> we are live and, and the, the graphical issues are gone and we're all having a good day today, ladies and gentlemen. She360 Gaming, aka She Devil, is in the chat. How have you been, She Devil? It has indeed been a very long time. She Devil is now following. Cheers to you! Thanks so much for following, and I need to pour some scotch. Today we are drinking some 15-year-old Glen Livet, and uh, this is one of my favorite scotches. <laughs> this was a gift from uh, Damon LaRue. No, this was a gift from Mousset. Damon Relu, uh, LaRue sent me a, sent, he bought me 15 different Hearthstone packs. 15 different packs! I got two legendaries out of it. So I'm pretty excited. I got a whole bunch of cards that I was missing. My Hearthstone deck is looking good. Hopefully you'll be able to see some of those cards show up today during the program. <clears throat> she, uh, she 360 Gaming says, so long. Yes, indeed. You'll have to stop by much more often. MVC2 Nash says hello, Scotch and Smoke Rings, and hello, chat. Hello, MVC2 Nash. Uh, good to have you on the show today. Nathan Pennard is in the show, and he says, not sure why I wasn't following in the first place. Well, I'm glad you started following, my friend, and I'm so glad that you're here today. Cheers and bottoms up to all the viewers. I also have a little bit of coke. I 
I just ate. And so I need to wash it down. Today we are smoking an Arturo Fuente special. Uh, She360 Gaming is one of the few people in the chat today who has actually smoked a cigar with me in real life. The other two are Nathan Allen Pennard, who smokes cigars with me frequently, and then uh, Greg Hartung, who actually came over and co-hosted the show one week. This is an interesting cigar. Take a look at that. It's got a wrapped end. Before I light it, it's a bunch of tobacco balled up on the end there. It's called a pigtail. I understand why it's called pigtail because it doesn't look like a pigtail, but that's what it's called. Thanks for subscribing, Ninja of WoW. Cheers and bottoms up to you, good sir. <laughs> Greg Hartung says, you ate before the show. Looks like my segment will now be rendered null and void. Yes, let's hope so. You guys always try to get me hungry during the program, but I now have a full belly. General Milhouse says, My first show. I was watching your videos, then realized that it was 7 o'clock p.m. Pacific time. Hey, thanks for following, General Milhouse. It is indeed. 7 p.m. Pacific time. All right. So, let me get your fan art up, because let's start with that today. Derp Night Gaming says, how was your week today, Oxhorn? My week has been fantastic. A lot of work. A lot of work but it's all been good work and I've been keeping active which is important okay um, let me share my screen with you here is fan art that was submitted this week so this was submitted by Matt Ezel and he's talking about cigar aficionado uh, aficionados um, new humidor to celebrate receiving Cigar Aficionado's 2014 Cigar of the Year Award Oliva Cigar Company will release a special edition, edition Siri V Melanio Humidor and I have to say that looks amazing what a classy looking humidor and here's one from Robert and he says tag the person that would devour this I say there is not enough bacon here indeed I actually know the shop where this bacon is made it's um, called the Red Mill Burgers and Fries in, in, in the Queen Anne area here in Seattle. Jason says, I'm reading Oxhorn's The Tale of Chloron Hastings while dressed with a classy green vest waiting for the show after a long day of prep work for my wedding, which is soon. Ninja of WoW, thanks so much for coming to the show. Loving the classy suit that you've got going on here and even better the wonderful reading that you've got going on uh, David Serzu says a glaring inaccuracy corrected indeed right so this is the Warcraft poster that came out and this is the Warcraft poster if it was a little bit more realistic to the game <laughs> That's, it's true it's true why do all of the Warcraft characters have giant Shoulder pads. It's just nuts. Rob Rain says new seaweed is twice as healthy as kale and it tastes like bacon. Uh, I'm actually fairly disturbed by this, so 
Uh, not gonna go into too much detail. First pictures of Pluto. Houston, we have a problem. Yes, indeed, that would be quite terrible. And I'm not gonna do videos because it messes up, but look at this from Andrew. That is a bacon mug. A bacon mug filled with melted cheddar cheese. This might be the greatest thing I've ever seen. Um, yeah. That's a lot of cheese. <laughs> oh my goodness. I don't know if, how that tastes. Uh, and then there was a new trailer for The Skies of Azeroth. And Damon LaRue is hosting a, an Oxhorn brand Wikia. Look at this. He's been working hard at this. It's a Wikipedia for all things Oxhorn. Main characters, notable characters, episodes of Scotch and Smoke Rings, latest activity. Look at all of this activity going on here. Uh, he linked to this from our Facebook group. So if any of you are wanting to participate in this wiki, you are more than welcome to hop on in. So thank you for that, Damon LaRue. <laughs> That's right, uh, She360 Gaming created the plushies that I had here on the show for eons and eons. They're actually sitting over there on that shelf. <laughs> I would have them behind me, but as you can see, my backdrop doesn't quite allow. How do you like this week's Tavern Brawlox? Asks Derp Knight Gaming. Well, um, not as much as last week's. And we'll get into that in a little bit when we play later today. But this week's Tavern Brawl seems just so random. Like you have no control over what you put in your deck. And you have no control over the cards you get. And... I don't know. It's still fun because there is, there is some strategy involved. So, well, I'll talk more about it when I actually play this week's Tavern Brawl so that we all have the same... Point of reference. She 360 says, "You guys still have them? Yes, we do. We've got them stacked. I have, I have a uh, an Oxhorn slash Warcraft dresser where I've got all of my figures from my Oxhorn days and the plushies that She Devil made, um, as well as other geeky things. So yes, we do indeed have them." goodness. So I'm considering doing a new segment of the show here. And I only have a couple of pieces lined up, so this may be a short segment. But let's try it, okay? All right, so the, seg the new segment of the show Nathan Podard says music should be touched down a tad. Thank you. I'm glad. I'm glad when you guys let me know uh, because I need to make sure that this is all accurate. Okay. This week in the universe, ladies and gentlemen, that's the new segment that I am considering here on Scotch and Smoke Rings. In this segment, I will go over the news of the day using my best old-timey radio presenter voice possible. So, I didn't get a chance to prepare for it too much today because I had a really busy day and then the kids all came home and then I had to eat my dinner quickly and then run out here and get sit down in time for the show. So, I barely made it, but hopefully... Uh, she360 Gaming says, That makes me super happy and glad I stopped by. I gotta go get... The kiddo to bed, but I'll swing by next week, too. Always a pleasure. My friend, give Nova my love. I will. Thanks for coming by, She-Devil. I'll tell her that you swung by. Have a good night. All right, here we go. This week in the universe. 
humans from the planet Earth send robots the furthest they have ever been to the icy world known as Pluto. They claimed it for the nation called United States. On the planet they found mountains of ice and a heart bleeding red with human blood this week in the universe. This week in the universe, President Obama gives nuclear warheads to Iran, saying they will not be able to use them for 15 years. So then, Armageddon in 15 years. This week in the universe. This week in the universe, Oxhorn manages to not trim his beard. His beard teeters on a ledge. We do not know when it will die or for how long it will stay. But for now, it lives, it breathes, it is. This week in the universe. All right. So, uh, as I told you, I didn't prepare enough for that segment of This Week in the Universe. Uh, but I figured it would be a fun way to go through the news of the day in an old-timey voice. And yes, that should have been sepia-toned. Haven't figured out how to do it here on scotchandsmokerings.com just yet. But uh, that will eventually be the plan. Chief, <laughs> Chief Smash says, Keep the segment ox, ox, it's great. Thank you very much. All right, let me know if the music is too loud. I turned down the system audio, so hopefully that did it. Derp Night Gaming says, Ox in space! <laughs> and you guys should send me uh, news bits that I should use in this week in the universe. Black Schwarmer says, someone is looking at him funny in the side monitor. Yeah, that's you guys. That's what, that's where my chat is right now. Here, I should move it, so. There, now I'm actually looking at you guys in the face. Nathan Penard says, you need 50s news music for that one. Probably a lot of stock out there. Yeah, I'll have to find something to play for that particular program. Jonathan says, that was great, Ox. Excellent. And everybody's singing along to when the saints come marching in. All right, we've got your recorded messages here, ladies and gentlemen. If you haven't got them in, get them get in right now because I am going through it. So, first up is the ever-talented Fedoro Gregoro. What is on your mind, good sir? Good evening, Oxhorn. It is I, Fedoro Gregoro. I have a question in regards to those little story ideas inside your head, some of which include those associating with Mr. Evil and Lieutenant Colonel Virtue. Thanks, Prime Taco. Will you at any point transport those ideas from your head into an audio recording? I understand that your machinima took much time to produce, but with simple audio recordings, it would take a fraction of the time. Take this recording, for example. Only took me a few minutes to come up with a question to ask you and about a minute to record this. So, what's keeping you? Do you not deem us loyal fans worthy uh, of sharing such tales? Uh, Those that stuck trip. by you through thick and thin? Uh, but to be fair, I also understand that you have a job and kids to look after, but surely perhaps after the kids have gone to bed and the workload is done, you may have time to, <clears throat> to just sit down, write down some ideas and record them and publish them to the world. Heck, you can even write a silly story regarding how many times Gentleman Badger keeps destroying you in Hearthstone with his Malganus card. Oh! oh. Just a thought. I look forward to oh. the six-year anniversary show. All right, Greg, you, you raised some valid points. All right, let, let me start the first chapter of my new Oxford novel. <clears throat> you are reading chapter one of Fifty Shades of Ox. No? No, that's not going to work? All right. 
We won't do that. Uh, we'll instead choose something else, ladies and gentlemen. Something a little bit more classy, you know? Something a little more highbrow, not lowbrow, or midbrow, more highbrow. All right, let's keep it a little bit highbrow. Uh, look, uh, the thing the thing with that is I still have to write it, right? I mean, I've got all of these ideas in my head. I would love to be able to write a book or create some machinima to finish the Associate Professor Evil storylines or whatever. And uh, uh, I'd, I'd love to be able to get that down, but I'd still have to write it before I create an audiobook version of it, right? <laughs> I'm glad. I'm glad that was as disturbing for everybody as I predicted it would be. <laughs> oh, oh, probably shouldn't have done that. All right, next up on the program is Andy the DK. Andy the DK, you are on the program. How can we help you today? Good, sir. And now, ladies and gentlemen, coming to you live from Stormwind City, it's Quickfire Question. And now, ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome the host with the most here's Andy the DK. Greetings, everyone, and welcome to everyone's favorite Scotch and Smoke Rings Thursday night segment. It's Quickfire Questions. Yes, ladies and gents, Quickfire Questions, where I, your host, and the DK, quiz our wonderful guest, Oxhorn the Bearded Beardsman, on Hearthstone, World of Warcraft, or Heroes of the Storm knowledge. Ox, how are you doing tonight, my friend? Hope doing your Scotch and cigar are well treating you great. Indeed. Are you ready for some quickfire questions, my friend? Because here we I'm go. I'm ready. Let's do it. Ox, tonight is all about name that legendary Hearthstone card. Can you name the sound and or battle cry that these legendaries make when coming onto the field? Question number one. Can you name the three mana legendary card that has a battle cry of lap dogs, all of you? Question number two. Can you name the six mana legendary drop that has a battle cry of none shall pass? And question number three, can you name the nine mana legendary drop that has the battle cry of I bring life and death? Thank you, Ox, for playing, and thank you, everyone, for watching. As always, I am Andy the DK, reminding you all to get your gnomes spayed or neutered. Tyrion Fordring for the final one. I have no idea about the others. Let's see if we can... Uh get the chat to help us out here. Shoot says Edwin. Greg Hartung says the Black Knight. Was it Alex Straza? <clears throat> I should log into my uh, Twitch account so that I can unban people that get banned. Van Cleef. I don't know these things. How do you expect how do you expect the guy who just got his first ever legendaries from an actual card drop? How do you expect that guy to know all these legendaries? I don't see the chat moderation controls. Why do I not see the chat moderation controls? Huh. I don't understand why I can't. I am a mod, right? Okay, anyway. Ninja of WoW says Ed Edwin Van Cleef was awesome in the old WoW. Trevor Green says Van Cleef was a vanilla boss. This is very true. I think I remember him too. The Gentleman Badger says, Speaking of Hearthstone, I recently earned my Golden Warlock, 500 souls claimed, and I plan to harvest that of a Taran tonight. Oh. Oh, indeed. We shall see. Derp and I Gaming says, You know all these legendaries because I use them on you every week. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, if you say so, good sir. If you say so. I am not even close. I'm not even remotely close.
to my golden hero. But all right, let's let's fire up the Hearthstone machine. Let's see if we can get something fun going on here tonight. It's a new tavern brawl. It's a new dawn. It's a new day. It's a new life for me. All right, let me roll this down. Ha! Find a seat if you can! Try something else. Well, we have competing uh, music going on here. Is that too annoying, ladies and gentlemen? Oh! What is going on? Oh my goodness. You guys are going to crash Hearthstone. <laughs> there we go. Hopefully that works. Derp and I Gaming says, Ox, did you hear about the 15-year-old girl who went with her grandparents on a plane ride and crashed in the mountains and survived for three days? I did hear about that. It's a tragic Rexa, story and an amazing one that she survived all by herself. I will fight all right, with honor. I need to turn some of this stuff on here. Begin. There. Is that a little bit better on the ears? Hopefully. Mr. Tumnus is in the chat. Thanks for coming, Mr. Tumnus. Oh, wow, this is really... There we go. <laughs> I can actually see the board. All right, Ironbark. Good to see you, Ironbark. I'll never tell. Job's done. Alright, so for those who don't know... Uh, 
<laughs> well, for those who don't know, the rules behind this week's Tavern Brawl are that the decks are completely jumbled up. You have no idea what you're getting in the deck, and uh, it could be completely random. That's what I fear. I fear that the decks are just completely random, because sometimes they just don't make sense. However, it is also possible... It is also possible that, was a that they've, they've hand-tailored each of these decks. And I'm not sure which one is correct. Gentleman Badger says it's 15 random class, 15 random neutral cards. I don't think they're class specific because I've gotten warlock specific cards on priest decks before. Carton says, Ox, I actually believe the anniversary show is next week since 52 times 6 is 312. Let's do a little bit of math here. Holy cannoli, your calculator is correct. Is it next week? Ho, ho, ho. I gotta get cracking. Whoa! What's been going on? Watch this! You might feel a little tingle. Ooh. Goody, goody. T-Lad is in the chat today. T-Lad, everybody's at the new chat, which is at twitch.tv slash scotch and smoke rings. To answer your question, the money thing at the bottom is people who have kindly donated to this, pro to this program. Whoa, what was this? Bolvar Four Dragon. Time for a change. Time for a change. Sparrock says, no, it's two weeks because the first show aired on July 30th, 2009. Dwayne says, hello, Oxford. It's been a while since I've seen one of these shows. How's it going? It's going very well, Dwayne. So glad to have you on the program today. Well played. Well played. The victory is yours. Well done, Iron Bark. That was a mighty challenge. Mm 
Poor Mr. Tumna says, I love my net, I love my net, I love my net. No killing net, no killing net. Yeah. Well, I hope your internet connection suits itself. Or fixes itself. Okay, so we're not doing Tavern Brawl? Alright. Does someone want to unban Trevor? I can't on my end. Sorry, Trevor. No links. No links allowed. There you go. Zalthrion says, I hope you're having a good day, sir. I made this deck last week. Let's see how it works. Let us see indeed. <sighs> Gentleman Badger says, would you consider whitelisting Oxpedia if I develop it more in the future, good sir? Absolutely. Um, yeah, I would. Totally. is so relaxing. This is how I wind down, ladies and gentlemen. A long day of putting out fires at work. This is the way to go. Oh my goodness, Zalthrion, tear it up! You're definitely going for a mulligan play. Derpenite Gaming asks, Ox, what kind of beer or ale do you like? I honestly cannot stand the taste of Ox. Uh, I'm not terribly picky when it comes to beer or ale. I like all, all kinds. My preference is the dark oh, stuff. Me. Jeepers.
Leap years makes the following year 53 weeks long. So ergo, there was an extra week in between the six years. All right, so is it next week or the week after? Ouch, 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 ouch. Two weeks, 7.30.15, okay. Putting it on my, my mental calendar, 7.30.15. Six years, holy cow, can you believe that this show is six? Is gonna be six years old? That's a crazy long time. South Rion, what are you doing? What? You had me. Well played. You don't want to see my new legendary? Okay. okay. That's cool. Death is good. I'll take death. <laughs> All right. Schwarmer says you're getting old, Ox. Oh, I know. It's okay, Zaltrion. Fancy Badger says good luck. Thank you very much, Fancy Badger. Good luck to you, too. <laughs> it's okay, Zaltrion. Hey, look, it's his golden character. Fancy Badger with your golden things and spells and what's it. Pretty impressive. Powering up. Portals online. All right, I've got three different friend requests. I just accepted all three of you. If you want to challenge me and all that, just uh, send a friend invite to... Oxhorn number 1649. Blue Beta 19 says, Hey, dude. Hey there, Blue Beta 19.
All right, looks like we've got some uh, lawnmower noises to enjoy, ladies and gentlemen. If you need me to turn up the volume, just let me know, okay? See if we can get in there this time. Derp Knight Gaming says no Tauren soul this time. Haha. <laughs> Maybe next time, Fancy Badger. Maybe next time. Installing new time refuse, glaring at innkeeper, <laughs> gathering spectators, installing new time refuse, boiling up. End turn button. Straightening decks. Gathering spectators. Okay, I think something's broken. Whoa, here we go! Rexa versus Malfurion! I must protect the one. Let the hunt begin. Ripper, pleasure to meet you on the field of battle.
General Milha says, Oxhorn, do you realize that one of the WoW Darkmoon Fair fortunes says never eat beef with a Taran? <laughs> I didn't know that, no. But it makes perfect sense, right? Gentleman Badger says, I can't believe how much you've improved since you first started Hearthstone, Ox. Well, thank you very much. I hope that I am improving. That is the goal. The Gentleman Badger says, what about eating steak sandwiches? That's hard to go wrong with steak sandwiches. Whoop, whoop, whoop! Bathe in flames. Young Wookie says, I just watched the Oxhorn short about Independence Day, where Oxhorn spoke about eating steak. Well, of course, he's a Tarn. Of course, he's going to eat steak. He eats red meat. I mean, we eat monkeys, right? Yeah. Totally. I'd eat a monkey. Like, give me some gorilla. Sounds tasty. Cigar Ox says, hey Oxhorn, you didn't put episode 308 on YouTube yet. Sorry about that. I will fix that tonight. Leonie Ted says, hey Oxhorn, buddy, have you received a pat down? Yes. Uh, yet. Yes, I have received yeah, numerous cool. pat downs. It's never fun. Ouch. myself running out of cards here. Congratulations. Nicely done, my friend. Well deserved. Cheers, matey. Bottoms up. Oh my gosh! Oh. 
Am I back? Am I back, ladies and gentlemen? Am I back? Welcome! Boys, make some room by the heart, won't ya? Well, that was weird. Sorry about that, ladies and germs. Shall bring victory. Oh, this is a tavern bro. Oh no. Ah man. Oh. Alright, Zalthron. I thought we were doing Tavern Bra, so I picked a random class. I totally don't have a deck built for this guy. But hey, I'll do my best. Zalthran says, I'd like to see these new legendaries you've been talking about. Sadly, they're not in this deck. <laughs> I'm sorry. I thought you were doing a, uh, a tavern brawl, and so I chose Priest. And, uh, come to find out. So, no legendaries, but who knows? Maybe I'll be able to defeat you anyway. Thanks for following, Zamp. 
consider my fate is sealed. There we go. Is it not working? Is it bugged? Put this apple on your head. So. Okay. Gentleman Badger says you can also open the eggs. Yeah, but you can only do these once, sadly. What's up your sleeve, Southrion? What is up your sleeve?
<laughs> Cigar Alex says, remember folks to stay st uh, tuned to the end of the show to see something so awesome, you'll know the reason why I got rid of all my hair. Black Shwarma says, I thought the IRS seized your hair for lack of payment. Almighty Dirty Jake says, I stopped watching for a few weeks and I come back and the show looks like it got all Hollywood budget. <laughs> that's, so many that's right, there are all, all sorts of blingy things all over the screen now, huh? That's right, Zalthrim. Blame it on the misplays. These things happen. Well done, good sir. Well played. Win. Cheers to you, lady. I tip my cap. I should probably actually tip my cap. There we go. All right, who's next? My finger is on the button. Oh my goodness. Oh wow. Oh my goodness. Huh? Ah! Did I get in? Did I get in? Serving beverages. Hey! Skull Ripper! Alright, I just accepted all my latest batch of friend requests. Yeah, it's uh, Zalthra, and it's ironic that I was destroyed by you with my nice epic legendary deck. And then when I played this random priest deck that I threw together for doing Blackrock Depths, or Mountain, I actually managed to win. Doesn't make any sense. Sorry, Dwayne, these things are random. Blizzard kicks you guys off. If, if more than one of you uh, challenges me, it kicks the most recent one off. But maybe next time, maybe next time. Jade Sub. 
open to guide you. Ninja of WoW says life's good when watching Oxhorn. It's like all the cares are null and void. Indeed, that's that's the feel that I want to give. All right, Skull Ripper. I think I got lucky with my mechs here at the beginning. Put this apple on your head. Shields up. so few of you are wanting to do Tavern Brawl. Ah, oh, why did it cancel? Oh wait, did it not cancel? Did we get in? Thrall versus Uther. Dwayne, yay! I will fight with Skull Ripper, nicely Undo done, my friend. guys saying for Mechazad reporting for duty Derp Knight Gaming says Ox you change the lives of many not just with your movies but with your noble teachings of class and dedication to your fans cheers to you cheers to you good sir thank you very much Ooh. Ooh, doo, 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 doo. 
All right, let's use some cedar for this one, ladies and gents. Let's try that. Follow the rules. Reporting for duty. Played indeed. Ouch! Nicely done, Dwang. I tip my cap to you. Well played. All right, any others? W.S. Scott says, good evening, Ox. Here is some chicken. Why, thank you. I do love me a nice bucket of chicken. No challenges. All right, I'll do a tavern brawl in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Oh, my goodness. Imagine Justin. The light shall bring victory. Let's do this.
In order to challenge me, you have to have me as a friend on Battle.net. Reporting for duty. And I'm number 1649. <laughs> Gentlemen, Badger says, I hope you don't mind me attempting a re-challenge. My work tonight has been shameful. Not at all good, sir. Do what you gotta do. Let's try that. Shall not see. Ah. Reporting for duty. Beating the day. Oh, no. I see your head. First time being able to use that card. I don't even think I got to use it during Black Rock Mountain. Come on, power. 
Wang says, huh? Oxhorn is 1649 and I'm 1648. Interesting indeed. Oh my goodness. Azalik says, Oxhorn, I miss your videos. What happened? Life moves on, dear sir. Jobs, family, and whatnot. Well played. Don't blink. Well played, Imagine Justin. Thank you so much for the challenge. Goodness. Holy cow, I'm getting flipped between the screens. I don't even know who I'm fighting. Fancy Badger. Alright, Fancy Badger, let's do this. Thanks, Southrion. Chief Smash says we need to do our best to guilt Ox into making a Christmas movie this year when he seems to be immune to guilt. Indeed. Right, to those asking me to challenge them, uh, that's not how this works because there are so many of you that I'm not going to go through a list and challenge people. I'm happy to accept challenges, but you need to add me as a friend on, ba on Battle.net, and then um, once I accept you, you can then challenge me. And I just checked my friends list and I don't have any pending invites, so...
Mr. Temna says, oh my word, that's an awesome old time rag song playing there, Master Ox. Uh, indeed. This is a family band. I don't know if I if I told the chat yet, but this is my grandfather and uh, my uncles and aunts and other family members playing this one. paid off. Played indeed. Malganus is a tough customer. Installing new timer fuse, bribing guards, gathering spectators, weapon off table. Okay, this is becoming quite a quite an ordeal. Magasinier 2 says, Hey dear Oxhorn, first time being here live. Kinda, because it's always 6 a.m. when you're live. Anyway, it's been a big fan ever since Oxhorn Movies. Love from Sweden. Thank you so much for coming to the show today. Shwarma says, Oxhorn's Occidents. Uh, <laughs> oh my goodness. You guys crack me up. 
What is going on with this game? Mr. Tumna says, we apologize. We have yet to order your book yet, Master Ox. Wife and I have a couple of unexplained bills that came in. It will be done, I promise you. It will be done. Well, I hope you enjoy it. All right, I gotta try this. Let me try this again. Not sure what was going on there. Yeah, it looks like that one failed out. Sorry, my friend. Man, I'm sorry, Greg. It keeps knocking you out. You'll get in there eventually. Thanks for the heads up, gentlemen, Badger. Let's go begin. The light shall bring victory. Dwang! All right. Pleasure to see ya. Hope you don't mind if I ask, but could you do a song on the flute? Asks Megan's here too. I would love to see that. Now, let me do my best here. Try this. It's hard to do this while playing. Um. you to pull anything out of your car. No thanks. Where was I? I keep forgetting where I was. Focus, what was I doing? Um, hmm, um, hmm, grrr. I wonder. There, how is that? Oh, 
Mr. Temna says, oh my word, my five-year-old is a trip. We promised him he could stay up later and watch the remainder of his Paws Patrol DVD tonight. And I went in there to check it on him to remind him about it. A deal today, only to hand pushing me away and say, Daddy, go, I'm watching Paw Patrol. <laughs> oh, the audacity. Oh my goodness, what is this? The Beast. Two can play at that game. attention what's going on all right he's got a secret on the board Try that. Slightly off. <laughs> Imagine Justin says, what key penny whistle is that again, Oxhorn? And Black Schwimmer says, slightly off. <laughs> the slightly off key? That is a penny whistle in the key of D, I do believe. Yep, key of D. Tumda says, yes, yes, Master Ox, you have done very well, or very few, if any, smoke rings. What's scotch and smoke rings without the smoke rings, good sir? All right, all right, smoke rings, yes, yes. Smoke rings, here we go. Good sir. Thank you, Dwang, for the fascinating challenge. I'm going to turn off my air filter so that I can get some smoke rings on in here. You in there, ladies and gentlemen. Right. 
right in the face. There, I hope that has satisfied the masses. Look how much cigar I still have. The Gentleman Badger says, thanks for the extra long episode tonight. Good sir. Well, thank you, my friends. Lots of cigar left, which means we've got a couple more games in the show tonight. At least. Troll versus Troll. For Doomhammer, the elements will destroy you. Uh, Dwang. All right, Dwang. We meet again, I see. I just accepted two new friend requests on Battle.net, so if you have yet to, to fight me, I encourage you to do so. here. Ladies and gentlemen, luck be a lady tonight. Oh no! Not my guys! No! no, no, no. Oh, okay. Well, only one died. That's fine. Hmm. Let's see. What say you? Hartung says, seems fate does not want to face Oxhorn in this week's not-so-creative brawl. Uh, just hang in there, Greg. Keep on challenging. Victory comes to the persistent, ladies and gentlemen.
Chief Smash, uh, Smash says, maybe we can come up with a gentlemanly way of spreading the challenges around sometimes. Maybe. Tell you what, if you've already fought me today, uh, let's let's uh, stop. Let's make this our last game, so if you fought me today, that way other people can have a turn. Okay, um, well played indeed, good sir. Well played, Dwang. Thank you for the challenge. It's good to be getting new people in here. Alright, so only challenge me if you haven't already played me. Gentleman Badger says, I'll limit myself to once a week from here on out. Well, we don't always have to do it that week. It kind of depends on supply and demand. If there are a lot of people wanting to play, then uh, multiple people playing can rob them of their opportunity. But. Thrall versus Jaina. General Milhouse says, I got in. Is this you, Bloody Blade? Are you General Milhouse? All right, let's do this. Almighty Dirty Jake says, I feel this is the most I've ever seen Ox win in a single episode. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it sounds about right. Interesting. Oh my guy! Well, guess I'll just have to do that. I know. It's a rough life. Uh oh, did I just disconnect again? Did I just disconnect again? And I did. Hold on. Sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. Something, uh, something wicked this way came, and we had a little bit of a, of a disconnect. But I think I'm back. And I'm back? Okay. Well, um, he killed my Fugin, so I guess I'll have to use this guy. Kill. 
Is it happening again? And it is. Okay, sorry about that. My internet is just not working today. Ah, oh, so sorry. I will have stiff words. Stiff words for CenturyLink. Thaddeus of Scotch and Smoke Rings and Tragic. about the connection. I'm not sure exactly what's going on. What happens when I get over eager? Totally forgot about Flame Strike. Not 
Well played, good sir! That was an epic battle! Alright, I think I've got about one more game. Left in this cigar. Ninja of Wow. Well. Uh oh. Anduin versus Anduin. The light shall the General Midhouse says Rag the didn't show up, you got lucky. Alright. I probably did. Greg. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, Fedora Gregoris, says whatever. This this brawl ain't the greatest anyway. Yeah. I'm sorry, Greg. Thanks for following.
Not quite what was planned. Not all wonder are lost. That's a cool car. Well played, my friend. Well done. All right. Thank you for the battle, Ninja of Wow. All right, smoke ship time, ladies and gentlemen. We have had an extra long show, which means I'm extra tired and ready to go hang with the family. But it's time for the smoke ships. What is your plan, ladies and gentlemen? As you all know, at the end of every episode, I blow into existence a smoke ship that did not exist before. Based upon your instructions, what would you like to see? My cigar is almost out of itself, so we had better make this quick, ladies and gentlemen. Shwarma says, A slice of honey cake, French toast drizzle, with cinnamon honey, uh, next to two sweet potato pancakes, filled with glazed pecans and drizzled with the cinnamon sauce, plus a hearty breakfast sausage, crispy hash browns, and two sweet potato pancakes. Oh my gosh. Filled with glazed pecans and drizzled with a cinnamon sauce, served with a mug of dark signature roast blended, with flavors of pumpkin pie and cream, topped with whipped cream and caramel sauce. Ooh. I think I'm going to have to go in for a second opening of lasagna after this. Greg Hartung says, Oxhorn sitting on Thaddeus' shoulders as he wades through the murky maple quagmire in pursuit of sanctified cigar crafted by the prophet Velen that radiates immeasurable inspiration which Ox seeks to obtain it so that he can write his last remaining stories to the world. Yet as he reaches the shrine containing the cigar, he encounters a battalion of panda-elf hybrids that seek the cigar to write a well-crafted memo that will no doubt tarnish Ox's reputation and brand him a hypocrite. Greg! Greg, you're crazy! <laughs> Oh my goodness! Panda elf hybrids! I can't even imagine! <laughs> oh. oh. Okay. <laughs> Nicely done, guys. <laughs> Ninja of Wow says Oxhorn and his gang battling his fans in the tavern brawls while Nova and the kids sail on the maple syrup and enjoying the view of Draenor. Mr. Evil travels through the tin to find the real Oxhorn. Indeed he does. He's been looking for me. Shorma says, I just realized I screwed mine up. It wasn't supposed to be four pancakes. It was supposed to be... Huh? 
How many pancakes? Well, uh, this is really difficult, ladies and gentlemen, because neither of these are ships. Shawarma says, two pancakes and two eggs fried right in the center of grilled cheddar bun halves. Now that does sound delif delicious. Okay, Rabio10 says, oh, you could get banned for no gameplay, so just so you know. Ladies and gentlemen, I mean, we've been streaming for over two hours now. Has there been any gameplay, maybe? Is it possible that just because you don't see gameplay now, doesn't mean that there hasn't been two hours of solid gameplay? Just saying. I mean, it is a possibility. I mean, sarcasm aside, this is one of the possible explanations. All right. Um, Uh, Shawarma said, on a ship at the end. <laughs> Sh Shkirkin says, I would pay just to see two hours of your face. This is good to know. I'm looking for new business ventures. If I can find more people to spend money to see two hours of just my face, I'll be happy. General Milhouse says, two elves walk into a bar. Oxhorn says they look stupid. The next day, blood elves joined the horde. It's late. I need to end this. I'm going to go crazy. All right. Uh, uh, Greg Hartung, because you've tried and tried in vain to do a tavern brawl with me today, uh, your smoke ship is the victor. So let's see if I have any smoke left in this cigar. And I do. All right. Pay close attention, ladies and gentlemen. you see it for the briefest of moments oxhorn was sitting on thaddeus's so shoulders as he waded through the murky maple quagmire in pursuit of a sanctified cigar crafted by the prophet velen that radiated immeasurable inspiration which oxhorn sought to obtain so that he could write his last remaining stories to the world yet as he reached the shrine containing the cigar he encountered a battalion of panda elf hybrids that sought the cigar to write a well-crafted memo that would no doubt tarnish Oxhorn's reputation and brand him a hypocrite. It was all there. Not really a ship, more like a painted diorama. And 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 then Oxhorn ate some pancakes with eggs and pecans with cream. And man, shawarma, what have you done to me? Man, it's all I can think about now. My goodness. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for coming to this week's episode of Scotch and Smoke Rings, episode 311. Be sure to tune in next week. Same Ox time, same Ox channel, twitch.tv slash Scotch and Smoke Rings, all one word. Sorry, the chat's making me crack up right now. <laughs> you guys are nuts. All right, thank you so much for coming, ladies and gentlemen. Be sure to tune in. D I just said all of this, didn't I? All right, I'm repeating myself. Smoke ring before we leave. If we can get it. Don't feed the trolls, guys. Don't feed the trolls. Too much wind. All right. Be sure, ladies and gentlemen, that you always stay classy. Cheers. Cheers.